Through extensive research, I have discovered that the one thing people are really good at is finding ways to kill other people. From the Ross Rifle, to the Fragmentation Grenade, to the Penny in the Outlet Challenge. But if you peel back the facade, behind every seemingly genius invention is 40 dumb ones. Let's take a look at some weird weapons. Number 1. The Gay Bomb. Jesus Christ. Number 2. This one comes courtesy of the Civil War. During the Civil War, both sides were looking for the best possible way to kill the opposition. One day, the geniuses over in the South had an idea. You're gonna want to pay attention to this part. Alright, so, it's a cannon, but two. Hear me out. Inside each cannon is a cannonball. The two balls are attached by a chain. They will hypothetically fire at the same time, and hypothetically, when that happens, the chain will tighten, and hypothetically, take out a bunch of dudes in the battlefield. I really am a master of foreshadowing, hypothetically. Due to the fact that you have brain cells, you may have realized that this is a misguided idea. Sure, if every step of the process went right, it would be great. Sadly, the 1800s aren't known for their consistently well-performing tech. And, as you may have deduced, cannons are not the most consistent of machines. So, in reality, what would happen is almost every single time the weapon was fired, one cannon would go off before the other one, causing it to whip around and, let's just say, cause some issues to the crew operating it. But, hey, at least it was deadly. Unlike the legendary Fugo balloon bombs, What's a Fugo balloon bomb, I hear you ask? Well, these were balloons tied to incendiary devices and launched from Japan on their way to the US. Okay, it sounds completely stupid, but in reality it was only like, kinda stupid. This plan was actually based in logic to a certain degree, because the balloons would indeed be carried towards the US via jet stream, but unsurprisingly there were a couple of issues with the plan. So the goal of the balloons was to start fires and generally incite chaos. But they didn't exactly... what's the word I'm looking for? Work. First of all, only 300 were found in all of North America. Of those 300, not a single one started a fire or caused any sort of damage. Except for one, which only went off because it was... <clears throat> drop kicked by a child. What the f- Next up, humans have invented many wildly effective guns over the years. Among these being the Ross Rifle, the Garand, and the Remington. Hmm. Notice how that list didn't include the Puckle Gun. No, I didn't, because nobody noticed that, because you haven't told us what it is. Anyway, the Puckle Gun was a projectile launcher with two types of bullets. One bullet was round, and one was square. But why square? Doesn't that just make the bullets wildly inaccurate and inconsistent and less deadly? Yes, completely correct. See, the square bullets had one specific target in mind. Non-Christians, while the round ones were meant for Christians. The idea was that since getting hit with a square bullet is more painful than a round one, the targets of the gun would be more inclined to join Christianity. Because everybody knows that the best way to win someone to your side is to cause them as much pain as humanly possible. I'm just curious about what the policy is when you're being attacked by a horde of Christians and atheists, like, Alright, form a line. Sir, do you believe in God? Uh, no. Hold on. Mm. Next. Speaking of extreme pain, take a look at this. Does it terrify you? If you said no, then you're probably not an elephant. That's right, pigs tend to absolutely terrify elephants, along with loud noises and the thought of dying alone. The ancient Romans were familiar with this, and decided to use these small bristly creatures to scare off war elephants. Except for one catch. Apparently just sending a pig towards an elephant wouldn't be enough to consistently terrify it. So what did they do? Why, the sensible thing, of course. They lit them on fire. What could possibly go wrong? I mean, worst case, you end up with a bunch of cooked pork, right? Right? What actually happened is the pigs would sometimes scare the elephants, sure. But as we all come to find at some point in life, animals get unpredictable when you set them on fire. The pigs would often run back towards the Romans and cause absolute chaos, often setting them on fire. Not the most ideal of situations. Next up, here's a question. If you were running out of steel and aluminum to build aircraft carriers, what material would you use instead? Well, if your name is Jeffrey Pike, then the answer is ice. In World War II, they were running out of said materials. So, Jeffrey Pike had the idea to make an aircraft carrier out of a mixture of ice and wood pulp known as picrete. 
The issue with this invention surprisingly wasn't actually the idea itself. So if the idea wasn't the issue, then what went wrong? Allow me to scroll down to the shooting incident section of the Wikipedia page. Here's the story. So a naval officer called Lord Lewis Mountbatten brought a block of piecrete to a conference of admirals and generals. He was hoping to show how useful piecrete was. First, he shot a block of ice. The ice splintered and broke. Then he fired at the block of piecrete. And sure enough, it worked just as intended, ricocheting the bullet off the block and into the leg of Admiral Ernest King. Yup, just as intended. That meeting marked the death of the iceberg aircraft carrier. You ever fire an artillery shell at something and just think to yourself, golly gee, I wish this thing could destroy a city. Yeah, me neither. But the US military doesn't care, because allow me to reveal the Davy Crockett RPG. This is a nuke, but attached to a tripod, so technically it's a gun that fires nukes. Personally, I love the idea. They should make these for everyday people. Are you having an argument with your neighbor? What neighbor? The Davy Crockett was, and I'm quoting Wikipedia here, shockingly inaccurate, and led to the realization that the weapon was too inaccurate to deliver even low-yield nuclear fires. Honestly, I got no clue how you can miss when you're firing a nuke. But, alright, I guess they'd know. If you want to see some terrible presidential assassination attempts, click the video here. And if you made it to the end, subscribe.